you are there. Hello, Antonium. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. I know when you're coming because I start smiling. <laughs> yes, you feel it. Yeah, it's a really good feeling. Yes, it is. That's why I'm so happy. <laughs> So we actually have a question from one of our listeners today. It's from Miss Kitty. And she says, it's rather funny how hard it can seem at times to do what would make you feel joy. There are so many excuses one can make, but what if sometimes the desires we have could be harmful? Should we really always do what we feel like doing? What if our personalities change from one thing to another and it confuses people and leads to major instability in one's life? There's a few questions there, but it's there are, yes. Yes. Uh, well, first we will say that the only reason there are many excuses to not follow your joy is because you are not used to doing it. Hmm. You are not used to following your joy, and therefore your head will, will come up with reasons why it is hard. But do you see that your head can fabricate many reasons why, but the reasons are not significant. It is just that you are not in practice. There are many reasons why someone cannot go running in the morning, but there are many people who choose and find the time to go running, right? They are in practice, and therefore their brain will support the practice. When you are not in practice, your brain tends to not support you in whatever you choose to do, right? Yeah. So it's really a choice, right? And then, then our brain and our, our whole being can support us in our choice. Yes, it is about deciding that you will allow yourself to follow your joy. Deciding, that is a wonderful thing to do, to break momentum from the past and create new momentum but there will still be momentum and so that is that is what the practice is about it is about choosing as you say but also knowing that it might be more difficult in the beginning because you are you are breaking old momentum of not doing it mm -hmm. it is more comfortable to keep doing what you have been doing right but the thing is with that you can feel negative emotion when you are not doing what you want to do, right? Mm -hmm. When you are not doing what you want to do, you will feel negative emotion. So That's it might be comfortable to not do the things that you want to do, but you will not feel good in that comfort. Does that make sense? Right, yes. Yes. That's when you start feeling resentful. Yes. A little bit angry. Yes. Those things start coming. Yeah. Depression. Yes. Lots of things can happen. Lots of words you associate with not feeling good. But the key is that you do not feel good. So that is when you know, oh, wait, there's something I'm not allowing myself to do. What is it? What do I really want to do right now? That is how you can find where to start with joy, where to start with feeling better. What do, what do I want to do right now that I'm not allowing myself to do? That's, uh, I'd like to contrast that for, for our listeners because what we tend to think is why are we feeling bad instead of what aren't we allowing ourselves, which is the more important question. Of course, that is the more important question because it is the only way to get an answer that will bring you out of the bad feeling. Yeah. If you ask yourself, why am I feeling bad? You will find many reasons and then you will stay feeling bad. Yes. We do not want that, right? We don't want that. Yeah. So what is the next part of the question? Um, what part of the question was, uh, what if some of the things that you desire doing are harmful? What if part of the things you desire doing are harmful? I believe that would have to be a judgment. Uh, a judgment that is erroneous because if you the reason why you would feel joy the reason why you would feel good is because you would be in alignment with your higher self that's where good feeling comes from good feeling comes from alignment 
alignment, alignment with your higher energies, which means you are going up the energy chain to source, right? You are, imagine that you are merging with what you would call God. You are merging with God, you are merging with your versions of that all the way up through the dimensions. There is nothing negative above you. And so it is a little bit false to assume that if you are in alignment, that you would be doing anything harmful. You only do harmful things when you are not in alignment. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yes. So therefore, you do not need to worry about doing anything harmful if you are feeling good and you are in alignment. So there, you, if you want to be cautious about this, your job is to know how you feel. Know how you feel. Know how you feel so you know when you are in alignment and when you are not in alignment. If you feel bad, you are not in alignment. If you feel good, you are in alignment. So know how you feel before you take action if you are worried about that. The last part of that question was, what if your personalities change from one thing to another and it confuses people and leads to major instabilities in, one, in one's life? And I think you just answered that in one way. But um, I'd also like to add that as you move up the, the scale of feeling good and, and being more in alignment, everything around you changes to reflect that too, right? And so anything that's out of alignment with your new higher level is going to start falling away or make it very uncomfortable for you so that you get rid of it. And the people in your life will also, I mean, you affect them. And so you will positively affect people to come up with you. Would you like to add to that? Or clarify that? or <laughs> Yes. You are creating your reality, as Roseanne just said. And your outer life is a reflection of your inner life. And therefore, those people who are not compatible with you will not show up. And if you begin raising your vibration, doing what you love, you most likely will upset those around you. But in time, they will either join you or leave. And the biggest act of self-love that I have seen humans accomplish is to follow their joy despite the outward first consequences. It is the hardest thing for you to do to alter your personalities because those around you have such high expectation to keep you where you are, right? You can feel that. You can feel their expectation. It is hard to be something else around other people who expect you to be a certain way. It is by law because they are also creating their own reality. And so disengaging from others' expectations is one of the biggest challenges you will face. But you can do it and it does not need to be as dramatic as I am talking here. But I am recognizing, I am recognizing for you the hurdle there. Right? But your dominant vibration, you have the dominant vibration in your life. You can ignore the other people. You can choose your own path. And how sad would it be if you are wanting joy and you choose not to have joy just because you do not want to upset the expectation of others. Your life is important. You are choosing to be here. You chose to be here. You chose to be here. You chose to be here. They did not choose for you to be here, just to be there uh, viewing, right? You are not a painting. You are a being. You are a life. You are here. You can choose your own way. That is the fun part of being here, right? I love how you say that. <laughs> You're not a painting, which, you know, you're not a possession. You're not, um, you're not someone else's puppet. Yes, of course. Yes. 
Yes, we recognize that it does feel good to have the approval of others, but you know what feels much, much better? Having the approval of yourself, having the joy of yourself, having the connection and the alignment of yourself. Yes, so much better. Yes, and you will call people to you who are in the same world of joy as you over time. So do not think that you are just destined to be alone now. And even those in your circle, some most will choose to come with you. Yes, that's what I have found too, yeah. Yes. And, and I'd also like to point out that that's the space where great change happens in the world, where creativity and, and, and um, exploration and discoveries happen. Yes. Yeah. From being somebody else's puppet. It's not from playing it safe. It's from stepping into your joy and following the, the great inspirations that come to you. Yes, and you cannot hear those inspirations if you're not in alignment, which is what Roseanne is saying. Yes, yes. You, you say it so much clearer than I do. <laughs> That's okay. You are here. You are a human being, and the people watching are human beings. <laughs> yes okay so that's our only question for today and thank you so much Intimate Alien for your clarity and, and joy that you bring to the world it is a pleasure it is my pleasure I'm so happy to be here <laughs> thank you mm -hmm.